The Achievement Diary Cape. Obtained by completing tasks across all regions of Gilinor, this cape requires endgame level skills and a tremendous time investment, and I want it. On my ultimate Iron Man. Having completed a large chunk of the tasks already, just the hardest ones remain. Do I have what it takes to get my hands on this coveted cape without banking? Well, no, not yet. But that's why we're here today. Let's get to it. Before I jump into tackling the diary requirements, Mr. Purdue has got some quest XP rewards waiting for me. Let's see what we've got here. That is some serious XP coming. Unfortunately, not a ton going to stats that I need for diary requirements, but you know what? I will take every bit that I can get. Putting them into work by doing a little bit of fire making while I stock up on some sharks here. I just hit the 87 cooking milestone. I am looking for three more levels for the diary requirement. The first level, 88 fletching coming in. Many hours for me, two seconds for you, here is 89 fletching. I managed to snag myself a medium clue and got myself an armadillo page too. And if I'm not mistaken, this is one of the last pages that I need to complete all of the pages across the books. Let's see if I am correct. I think this is the only page I am missing out of the armadillo book and it is, this is now completed. With that completed, I am just missing one final page if I'm not mistaken, let's check this. Yes, we are hunting the Guthix page 3 and then we will have every prayer book completed. Is it useful? Not at all. There is the big one, 90 Fletching, and that is the first of the elite tier skill requirements knocked out. Unfortunately, that's one of the easy ones, but we're gonna pretend like it's a big deal. I need this. Who needs PVM when you can spend 20 hours fishing from the same three tiles? And the best part is that I still need one more level. I've been dabbling in Infernal Eels for some better AFK fishing, which has netted me a pretty good stack of Tockle. I'm gonna use that to buy some gems in the Moral Wreck shop, and hopefully that'll be enough to round out 88 crap for me. The total level is really coming up nicely. We're definitely going to be over 2120 once we're able to complete the achievement diaries, maybe even 2200 someday. 91 fishing coming in. This one was a bit of a grind to hit, but this is the second skill that I have knocked off of the elite achievement diary skill checklist. 86 smithing with a plus five boost that gets us what we need for the achievement diaries. Have you ever seen an Ultimate Iron Man get 85 runecrafting? Well, today is your lucky day. I will see you in one gorillion hours for 86. This is it. The last runecrafting inventory. 86 runecraft. I remember when the original achievement diaries came out and it was the Karamj diary only. There were actually no other diaries around at the time. But I saw the 86 room crafting requirement and I thought to myself, I will absolutely never be able to do that. And years later, here we are. Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but nonetheless, 86 room crafting. I'm down to my very last requirement. Let's knock out 90 cooking. There's 88 cooking. 89 cooking. One level left to go until we have all of the requirements all sorted out for the elite diaries. Unless, of course, I forgot something. I really hope I did not forget something. Oh my God. 90 cooking. That is a wrap on the skill requirements. Now the fun part begins. Lots of tasks to knock off, plenty of plus five boosts in my future, but also a lot of non-skill tasks like the Black Knight KC task and all level five BA rolls. That one is going to be just a super time. Even having these prereqs taken care of, I have got a lot of work to do. Very quick task to check off of our list here, pickpocket a hero, and there it is, elite task. Astral rune task completed, and that also means that I have completed all of the Fremnic tasks. I'm not going to claim that lamp quite yet because I kind of want the big dopamine rush of redeeming uh, all of my XP lamps at once, if you will. But anyway, that is another diary finish. That one feels good. Not going to lie, I completely forgot that this teleport was a thing, but if we cast the Catherby teleport here... That was quite the delay on it, wow. Um, I have completed an elite task, so that's an easy one. There's a Varrock elite task completed. I'm here in Bird to Rot to try to knock out the final task for the Mori Diary, which is barehand catching a shark with barbarian fishing. It requires 96 fishing, so I can plus five boost with these Admiral Pies. I've got four of them, and I believe they're two bites each. Let's see if I can get myself a barehand shark without too much pain. 
Look at this dude. Oh, there it is. That was fast. Oh, dude, that was a cool animation too, not gonna lie. Congratulations, you've completed all of the elite tasks in the Mauritania area. Once again, I'm gonna be waiting to claim that XP lamp for the maximum dopamine. And I think at this point, I need to probably head over to Barbarian Assault or maybe to Chompies. After a few hours of absolutely riveting BA gameplay with the lads, I am officially a BA level five master. Hot take here, but I actually think Barbarian Assault is pretty fun, especially if you're doing it with friends friends and you could also get this beautiful pet she's beautiful little two birds one stone action going on here i need the 1kc uh or excuse me 1kkc chompy task for the western provinces but i also need chompy to make a wild pie and baking a wild pie in the desert is one of the desert tasks so right now i'm going to add these to my wild pie i'm going to make my way to the desert and we're going to see if we can knock out that task before we head back here and finish off the last 500 KC for uh, the chompy hunting task. This is really not my favorite thing. People complain about the BA task being the worst, but I don't know, this one might be worse. What do you think the worst task is? Let's go ahead and bake a wild pie right here. Let's try to just do one. And there's the elite task, that was quick and easy. Now let's move over to Sofanim for the next one. Restoring 85 prayer points on the Sofanim altar, completed. And unrelated, if you want to see a very cool Easter egg that hardly anyone knows about, use a potion on the High Priest, a regular potion, or really anyone else in the city, and you get some very cool dialogue. All right, back to Chompies. That is the end of 1,000 Chompy Birds, and I don't want to hear a single person even joke about me coming back to get the Chompy Pet. It is not going to happen. When the devs were writing the Chompy Hunting Code, did they just say to themselves, hey, you know what I bet people would really like? 20 chompy hats who asked for these oh and that is the western elite diary done have you ever wasted a plus five boost before this is what it feels like no if you've done many of the achievement diaries then you know what i'm talking about when i say that they are coded incredibly poorly this rune crossbow from scratch task in Yenil is the most infuriatingly janky task that I've come across so far though, and I am on like my fourth attempt here. Jagex, please. Oh, peace is finally with me. It is either your sanity or a diary cape, guys. Save yourselves. Come on, give me the pie cook. All right, first try. And that is every Varrock Elite diary task completed. I need to smith a rune hosta, and this is definitely one of the achievement diary tasks of all time. After the most thrilling five minutes of my life, got some raw manta rays here. I need to cook some of these bad boys up, and that should complete another task. And there's the task. We are getting down to the final few tasks here. Let's see. I've got nine tasks remaining. We are almost done. I believe now I should be able to use this caviar on the stamina potion. And there is yet another task done, Stamina Mix 2. I'm here for a round of Pyramid Plunder, need to knock out the top floor for the Desert Diary. I've never done this before actually, so this is gonna be a little bit of an experiment in trying to get used to this here. Um, maybe I can get lucky and snag a scepter while I'm here. That would be super nice, but probably not. And that's what we needed to do here. Gotta say, just ran through real quick and looted a lot of the golden chests here, but this seems like it could actually be a pretty fun mini game. Ice Barrage on a Desert Foe, quick and easy. One of my final remaining tasks in Kandarin is to make a Pyre Ship, for which I need some Chewed Bones. And this is my current setup. Uh, I have no idea how this is going to go. I'm going to opt to just pray Mage and use the Anti-Fire Potion, and hopefully that'll be enough. I may have to get an Anti-Dragon Shield. I was originally thinking about grabbing Justicier. Why can I not dive into the Whirlpool? Oh my god. Anyway, sorry about that. I was originally thinking about using Justicier and kind of a rune drag setup, but I don't really have the inventory space as you can see right here, although I probably could bag the anti venom. No, wait, I need that for Vorkath later. We'll get to that a little bit later. Um, so let's see if this works out or if I need to completely scrap my setup and go with something else. Okay, dude, we definitely need to come back with an anti dragon shield. Oh my god. Uh, eat. <gasps> no! Oh no. I had the sharks. I didn't even notice. I had the sharks set to drop because I was cooking them. Oh. All right. See you in half an hour. 
That was KC number 13, got those nice and early. That was not the funnest grind to do in the world. Uh, not that it took a long time, but just the myth dragons do a lot of damage. I think I need to grab some magic logs now, and then we can go ahead and construct the fire thing to use these up and get our dragon full helm. And there we go. What did we get for reward? Rainer Potion Unfinished. Worst things to get. That is all of the Kandarin Elite Diaries completed. Oh my gosh, today has been a long day of just working on Achievement Diaries. Next up, I need to get some Dragon Dart Tips, and I was considering doing some TOA for that. However, because the TOA runs are, you know, half hour-ish, it's probably going to be faster to go to Vorkath, so I'm going to try to remember how to do Vorkath, see if I can snipe some Dragon Dart Tips, and that will be one of the last tough tasks remaining. We're here at Vorkath. I have hardly done done any Vorkath lately, maybe one KC for some reason that I can't even recall at this point. Um, got myself geared up with very limited inventory space here. The rate for the Dragon Dart tips that I need are about 1 in 12, considering he drops 2. I'm going to hopefully be able to snag something early, although after getting so lucky on the Chewed Bones, I am not sure if that will be the case, but we'll give it a try, and hopefully we won't die. Yeah, that's about right. Oh. There it is. Uh, there are the dragon dart tips that I need. So make sure to pick those up. Going to quickly bury these bones and I can head over to Narda, I think it is, and uh, knock out this task. So sweet. Mom, I finished the Desert Elite Diary. I should have enough Nightmare Zone points to imbue the self amulet, which is my last task remaining for Artie, I think. Yes, it is. Okay. And go for upgrades. I barely remember how to do this. I've not done Nightmare Zone in a long time. Let's imbue it. And there we go. But okay, cool. There it is. So yes, I've completed the RD Elite Diary. Next up, we are going to be taking on some Black Knights for the Falador Diary. So you know how I keep saying the tasks can't get any worse? Yeah. Just under another 1 grillion hours for this white two-handed sword. One Falador task to go. Yes, I actually just managed to get the boost on my second attempt here. That is a huge relief, and that completes the 91 runecrafting task for Karamja. My friends, this is a very special one because not only is this the last task for the Faldor Elite Diary, this is the last diary task for all achievement diaries. I just need to collect my death piled items and I have got a very fancy new cape waiting for me. Oh, you know what? First thing is first, I have got a fat stack of XP lamps waiting for me. Each achievement diary comes with a 50k XP lamp and you better believe I am putting all of those on Herblore. Let's go redeem them. First up, we've got Miss Two Pints here in Artie, a lamp from Mr. Jar for the Desert Diary, Thoradin for Fremnik, Cerebral from Falador, Kandarin, Verok. Oh my god, there's a lot of these. Mortania. Mortania? Karamja, Western Provinces. Right then, I am going to scoot over the XP here so you can see exactly how much I'm going to get. I am starting off at 92 Herblore, and every single one of these lamps is going to be put on Herblore. I believe I have nine in total. That should be 450k XP. That is a lot of experience. <laughs> And one more lamp remaining, another 50k. I'm going to pause the XP over here. Uh, there's your new best Herblore XP per hour. 27 mil per hour, not bad, especially for a UIM. That did get me to 93 and to, I guess it doesn't say how much, but it looks like about a third of the way to 94. Now that I'm looking absolutely fearsome here, this is, I'm, I got to admit, man, this might not look super old school, but this is some cool armor, especially the tier four. Anyway, Twiggy O'Corn, what is, what is with these names, dude? I don't get it. Anyway, Twiggy is going to sell me a cape just like hers, and for only 99k, sounds like a bargain, I get the cape and hood. Let's go ahead and put this bad boy on. 
And there it is. Not to get too sentimental here, but I've been passively working on this goal for like 7,000 hours now. Obviously, I could have gotten this way faster, but this was always my long-term, way over-the-top goal for an Ultimate Iron Man, so it does feel like the end of a big chapter for me. Not really sure what the future holds at this point. Maxing? Eh, maybe. I'll never say never, but that is a lot of skilling for me. Anyway, let's check out the 400 teleports that are on this cape. I'm going to run through all the teleports in the background for you, and while I'm doing that, I'll explain which ones are actually useful. I was barely exaggerating when I said 400 teleports. The cape actually has 16, although they are fairly niche. The most useful ones are the Shanty Pass teleport, which after the crafting cape is the second closest teleport to a bank. The Shiloh Village teleport gets you close to Duradel for Slayer, and the Wilderness teleport, which is the best teleport for Abyss Rune Crafting. The others all have their uses, but for an Ultimate Iron Man, just having a single item that offers so many teleports is really amazing. If you also have the Construction Cape, that basically means you have instant access to almost all areas of the game with just the two items. If you personally have a Diary Cape as well, and I am missing a use for the Cape, please let me know because I would love to use mine more often. While I am still rolling through the teleports here in the background, my Diary Cape journey is actually not over yet. I want to get this thing trimmed, which is going to require me to finish up all of the new quests that I've been procrastinating, but doing so would secure me the trimmed Diary, Quest, and Music Cape Trifecta, and with this grind coming to a close, I will be getting back to collecting RuneScape's rarest PVM drops. If you made it this far, please consider leaving a like and a sub to help me hit 10k. As always, thank you so much for watching.